See you later! Hi, hello, and good morning from a very overcast day at Tokyo Disney Sea. It's supposed to rain all day today. Right now, we're pretty lucky. It's only been like the light sprinkling, but we are here, Tokyo Disney Sea. If it rains, that's fine. At least we're a rainy day at Tokyo Disney Sea is better than anything, not being at Tokyo Disney Sea. Um, but already, if you guys watched my videos from November, we got premiere access for the Believe Sea of Dreams show. Very excited, Caitlin's first time seeing it. It's like phantasmic on crack. But um, yeah, again, we're probably gonna eat a lot today. All my favorite rides are here. So let's go. Here we go, I always say it, the best reveal in any theme park. Although, <laughs> however, good thing Caitlin has been in this park before. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but right now the entirety of Magellan's fortress, or the fort in front of Mysterious Island in the volcano, is doing some refurb. So a lot of scaffolding. Not as not as pretty as it usually is, but thankfully we've seen it before. Not bad. When you zoom out, it's fine. But yeah, scaffolding. At least it's just the fortress and not the whole volcano. If the whole volcano had scaffolding. I'd be a little disappointed, but it's fine. We still have it. And just like our last trip, our first stop is Mama Biscotti's Bakery. Um, this is pretty much the only place to get a really good breakfast in Tokyo Disney Sea. And I'm probably just gonna get like a little bakery item like I did last time. We'll see what they have. Okay, here's our very nutritious breakfast. I got this um, Mickey brioche with whipped custard. And then Caitlin got the Mickey donut. And if you can see on the side, it's filled with like chestnut cream and berries. And then I got the cafe latte tapioca drink. The lady at the front told me to stir this up first. So that is what I'm doing. It's literally like iced coffee with boba, but also coffee jelly at the bottom. Ooh, it's starting to rain a little. And then we have this Mickey brioche, which I kind of already went into, but it has a full, like, it's like custard, but it's like super whipped, so it's like very light. It almost tastes like a, a whipped cream. Here for it. How is your Mickey donut? It's good. Yeah? Um. There's like full ch like chestnuts yeah, like in the middle. Yeah, I've already like half of it. Um, like, what is it? Chestnut reveal. Wow. I also didn't know what a chestnut really looked like. Yeah, I knew so I've never that. had there one, it is. so there it is. <laughs> we finished our breakfast and it started raining a little harder, but it's fine. A rainy day in Tokyo Disney Sea. Sorry if there's water on the lens. It might happen this whole video. We're in your day Disney parks are a vibe though. Okay, apparently our first stop in the park is the Duffy store. Cause Caitlin is a huge Duffy fan. Wait, what's your favorite of the Duffy characters? Cause my boy Gelatoni is it. I know. Well, I'm not a Gelatoni hater because I love all of them, <laughs> but I mean Duffy and Shelly are always like the original favorites. Mm -hmm. Um as far as the new friends go. I like Cookie, but she's not here, so the, out of the ones that are here... Lena Bell? Yeah, she's cute. I want to go see if they have any of her, her yeah. merch still. So. Let's see. All the Duffy character headbands. They got Cookie in! <laughs> they got Lena Bell, Cookie, Gelatoni, Duffy, and Shelly May. Which I have... Oh, all those there. Sorry. <laughs> you got real excited yeah, about it. Yeah, he's so cute. Um, I do have these little Tony ears. I keep forgetting to bring them though. Okay, time for our Duffy and Friends haul. I managed to only buy one thing. I bought a Gelatoni bag that's literally almost like a plush. And then he has a zipper on the back. Basically just to hold like keys and maybe a credit card or something. Not a lot of room, but I figure since I have my Gelatoni ears, I gotta get a matching bag. So maybe I, I can do a Gelatoni fit. However, Caitlin went a little <laughs> went a little out with this Shelly May hoodie and literally everything else. Mind you, this is not just for her. Yeah, so. I can get some friends. A pair of Gelatoni ears. Yes. An Olu towel. <laughs> they love their towels here. This really cute little Duffy keychain. We love it. We love it. This little jacket. 
Um, There's still more. <laughs> the cookie bag. Oh, yeah. The cookie, the cookie bag. bag. Cookies so cute. They used to have face versions of gelatoni like that, but I, so I like the full body. And another little gelatoni keychain with a queen pouch. <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. And then the last thing is some circle of friendship chocolates that are inside this tin and they're in the shapes of gelatoni, oh jelly, God. and Duffy. Beautiful. They're Amazing. So we are all Duffy and Friends out. I love my little gelatoni bag. Look at him. Anyway, now that we got our Duffy and Friends shopping out of the way, first ride, journey to the center of the earth. Obviously. Obviously. We have to do it. Made it over to Mysterious Island. I feel like this exact thing happened last time where we said we were gonna run to Journey to the Center of the Earth, but so does everyone else. So it's at like 110 minute right now. Journey to the Center of the Earth, um, Tower of Terror, Soren, and Toy Story Midway Mania are always like super packed in the morning because everyone runs towards them. So we're gonna wait it out, see if it goes down, and we're gonna go back towards Indy for now. Made it into one of my favorite Disney queues. We're just in a full pyramid right now. And the only queue with dead bodies. It is still raining, but we just got off Indiana Jones. And even with, I just rode Disneyland's uh, new refurbed Indiana Jones. Really cool effects on that. But even with that refurb, I still think Tokyo Disneyland's is better. It's just, the effects here are always working. And they're so good. They're so good. And to escape the rain, we made it to the Arabian coast to ride another one of my favorite rides at Disney Sea. Most of you already know what that is. There he is, my boy Shandu. Yes, it is time. Always got to see my boy. Are you a Shandu fan? Yeah, I can't wait to hear the song. <laughs> there he is. Uh, we love giant animatronics. Bouncing Shandu is definitely one of my favorite Shandus. Just look at his little tippy taps on the drum. And that's it. A safe return. And Shandu needs a nap. Because he's a king. Sinbad's storybook voyage complete. We will definitely be riding it again one more time though because it's basically a walk-on and I need to get my Shandu fix. I also need to buy some Shandu merch. Found all the Shandu merch. I do already have a Shandu keychain like this, but I'm like, do I need a full-size plush? <laughs> I really want it, but I also have to pack it and bring it back. So, I don't know. Also, this is hilarious to me. It's an iPhone, like, bike cable. So basically, you put it on your cord, and when you plug in your phone, it looks like Shandu's biting it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think the only thing I'm actually getting is a Tokyo Disney umbrella, because it's raining. I purchased my umbrella. They had normal, like, black and clear ones, but I had to get the Tokyo Disney one. I gotta show you it. Look how cute! <laughs> It's Tokyo Disney and there's a rainbow and clouds and Mickey. Honestly, best purchase. Rainy Disney days are the best. Is it time to go on Sinbad's voyage again? Yes, it is. Made it back over to Mysterious Island to finally ride Journey to the Sand of the Earth. One of hopefully two rides today. I'm sure if you didn't already know, this entire land and ride is themed after Jules Verne's, obviously, Journey to the Sand of the Earth. So the queue is all like lab stuff. In the volcano. Just got off Journey to the Sand of the Earth. Sorry. Great. Although, learn something new every time I come here. Uh, I guess it's the first time where it's, I've had an umbrella at this park, and they have umbrella holders on the ride vehicle. On the outside of it too. Yeah, I was shook. Like it's only there to hold umbrellas. They think of everything. Took a swift turn and got right in line for a potato churro in Mysterious Island. Basically a giant french fry. And they're so good. I'm gonna be real with you guys. We got our potato churros and it. I was so excited. I only literally have one bite left. <laughs> I was just so excited I forgot to share with you guys. It was so good. Now we are on our way to Atlantica or Little Mermaid. One, because it's inside and dry. And two, 
because it's freaking Little Mermaid. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know something's starting right now. Nailed it, honestly. There he is. We always gotta say hi to Daddy Triton. Also, this is what, like, right down in here is the grotto. Which Eric's statue is somewhere over there. But Daddy Triton's here. Atlantica is popping down here. Everyone had the same idea to get out of the rain. RIP King Triton's concert is still not back from its closing all the way back pre-COVID. Will it ever come back? I hope so. It's such a good show. Literally just went in there to pick up my favorite ice cream. It's the sea salt shell one. You guys know. It's the best. Made it over to Horizon Bay and right now they have something called Minnie's Bestie Bash. Which is, uh, looks like a new food thing. I'm here for this purse dessert. But, uh, I want to be Minnie's Bestie. Trying to escape a little bit of the rain, so we're going on the SSS Columbia to the Teddy Roosevelt Lounge, because it's basically a bar. And I don't think I've ever, like, besides beer, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, a cocktail at Tokyo Disney Sea. So we're gonna change that. Here is the menu for Teddy Roosevelt Lounge, and I'm kind of shook because I didn't know the cocktails were themed to each port. We have the Mediterranean Harbor, American Waterfront, Port Discovery, Lost River Delta, Arabian Coast, and Mermaid Lagoon, and Mysterious Island. So they gave us an English menu for all of the drinks. Um, this one has elderflower liqueur based. We have a chocolate liqueur based, sake, fruit liqueur, campari, um, and these are the two non-alcoholic. I'm deciding between Lost River Delta and Mysterious Island. I don't know how this is my first time in this lounge because if I lived here or, or anytime I'm gonna come with a large group, I feel like we could be in here for a while. But they time you in here, so we can <laughs> the, the drink Caitlin got, they're like, it has 25% alcohol, is that fine? It's strong. And we're like, yes, it's fine. I'm also here for this fireplace with Teddy Roosevelt. I love it. I mean, this is the Teddy Roosevelt Lounge. He's uh, kind of everywhere. Here is my mysterious island. Has a little orange peel-esque thing on it. And then Caitlin has her Mediterranean Harbor. Um, but it comes with lemon and this like sparkly sugar. And they told us you dip the lemon in the sugar, bite it, and then drink it. So you got a whole process. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh, it's sweet. It's very like um, grapefruit forward. I'm getting a lot, a lot of grapefruit. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try Caitlin's with the whole lemon sugar. Gotta get sugar all over this baby. Here we go. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Oh. Yeah, the lemon and sugar definitely helps us go down because it's it's pretty strong. But there's a lot of um, herbal flavor. It's nice. Honestly, 10 out of 10 experience. I can't believe that was my first time in that lounge. I'm now going to do that every time. It's such a vibe. The rain has stopped for a little bit right now, so we're heading into the Cape Cod area or the Duffy and Friends area because we're going to get in line to meet Duffy. Because we have to, he's here. Welcome friends of Duffy. <laughs> Does Duffy live in Cape Cod? Or like, what's the story there? Why is he here? <laughs> Duffy. Yeah. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> see you later. Look at all of our Duffy photos. It's so cute! <laughs> she took so many. I love it. Alright, we met Duffy and it started raining again, but he was great. Always good to see that Disney bear, although I do want to meet Gelatoni at some point. But he never comes out anymore, which is sad. Um, I think it's about time to head up to the front and start getting our spot for the nighttime spectacular. 
We are here. We have our spot. It's an hour until the show begins. Um, and it's raining a little bit again. And they said the show might be canceled due to weather. So hopefully it's not. Because <laughs> we're here just one day. But honestly, it is not raining super hard. And look how cool the volcano looks. Also, if the show does go off, obviously, I'll let you know after. But I don't think I'm going to record this one. Because last time I was here, I recorded pretty much the fourth show ever. And I just want to enjoy it. I, I deserve this. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys after. And a quick change of pace. We are back in our Airbnb. Unfortunately, Believe Sea of Dreams did not happen tonight. It just started raining really hard and they canceled it. Which happens, which just means... We gotta come back. That's all. Uh, but we, we 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 just like dipped out and left. So that's the end of our <laughs> Tokyo Disney Sea trip. Sorry I couldn't give you a proper goodbye. It was it was just raining. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys real soon.